Hey guys, Melon Man here. I just finished off a morning jog. I just finished off a little morning quiet practice to center myself. You can catch my morning practice if you want on my high-end fitness page. If you want to do some yoga, you could practice some yoga. Over the Christmas break, I'm here this morning to leave a little Christmas message, to bring a little Christmas cheer, a little bit of St. Nicholas this morning. I wanted to talk a little bit about 2018 a little bit this morning. This is the time, you know, Hopefully you're a little bit reduced in work responsibilities right now. Many of us are off on holidays right now, or a little bit of break time at least. It's a wonderful time right now, just before Christmas, just before the new year. It's a, a wonderful time to do some real reflection some real heart-to-heart -heart thinking about 2018. How was 2018 for you? Was it what you wanted? Is it what you want? If it is, awesome. Melon Man here saying congratulations to you if you have created the year that you wanted. But if it's not the year that you want, 2018, then it's a serious time right now because a new year is about to begin. And if you didn't like your 2018, then it's very important that you step into 2019 with some new ideas, some new information, and a new plan of action. Because you don't want 2019 to be just like 2018 if you didn't like 2018. Okay? Understand that. This is very important. If you didn't like 2018, then you've got to go into 2019 with something fundamentally different in thought and word and action. You can't set into 2019 with the same thing if you didn't like it in 2018. It's not going to be any different unless you change something. Here's what I'm suggesting. If you didn't like it now, if you don't like what's going on and you want to change something, so that means maybe you want to change your health. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to overcome reduced immune system. Maybe you're getting sick. Maybe you're getting the flu. I don't get sick. I haven't been sick in two years now. You don't have to get sick. You don't have to get a common cold. You don't have to get the flu. You can get over it. You don't have to get any disease. No cancer, no diabetes, no arthritis, no heart disease, no high blood pressure, no anxiety, no depression, no lethargy, you can overcome all of these things. Maybe you want to change your health. Maybe you want to change your happiness, your joy. Maybe you want to be more vital. Maybe you just want to be more energetic. You want to be more enthusiastic, more motivated, more inspired. Maybe you want to have a better relationship with yourself. Maybe you want to like yourself better. You want to have a better overall impression 
understanding of yourself. Maybe that's a goal. To love yourself. To love your life. Maybe that's a goal. Maybe you want to improve your relationships. Well, that starts with a relationship with you. Maybe you want to improve your primary relationship. Maybe you want to have a better primary relationship. Well, that's all about goals. It's about responsibility. It's about taking responsibility. Listen, I got to take responsibility for what showed up for me in 2018. I am the creator. I'm not the victim of my circumstances. If I'm the victim of my circumstances, then I'm an unconscious creator. A conscious creator is a goal setter. Somebody that's chosen what they wanted and created, that's consciously creating what you want. If you want 2019 to be a certain way, you need to get your goals. You need to take responsibility and you need to write down some goals. I want to have a certain relationship with myself. I got goals that are personal, health, energy, motivation. I got goals that are relational. My primary relationship, my secondary relationships, my relationships with my children, my father, my brother, my sister, my siblings, my friends, my clients the people I bump into on the street, my relationship with the planet, the, the animals, the trees. How am I interacting with my planet? What's my relationship with the planet? How do I want it to be? What is the energy that I'm putting out into this planet? Am I eating animals still? Am I eating less? Am I consciously trying to reduce the amount of death that I'm putting out into the planet? Am I trying to kill less so that I can live? Is that my conscious intent or is my intent that who cares? Doesn't matter how much dies around me because if that's my intent, I can only go so far. Goals, conscious creators, responsibility, goals for our relationships, goals for our career, Goals for our finances. Goals for our future. Goals for our adventure. Goals for how we want to give back to the world. The message we want to leave. Our mark. These are all important aspects of how 2019 is going to be. You've got to get a vision of how you want 29 to be. You've got to get goals. Responsibility and goals. You've got to take responsibility for your energy. You can lift up your energy this morning. I went for a jog, okay? When you go for a jog, you generate energy, okay? We can generate energy. So if we're low energy, we can pick up our energy. That's our choice. That's taking responsibility. Exercise is a great way to lift up your energy. We can't be a victim and say, oh, I've got no energy. Why have we got no energy? Because we haven't taken the actions to create the energy. Take responsibility, make the goal, raise the energy, take the action, I gotta exercise. Exercise is a part of raising my energy. I'm moving my muscles, that generates electrical impulse. The nerves are firing signals from the brain to move the muscles. The cells are depolarizing. Electrical current is moving around in my body. The body starts to cre create carbon dioxide. The heart rate raises to pump that carbon dioxide out of the body to the lungs. The carbon the lungs release our carbon dioxide. The lungs release our waste, our cellular waste that comes out in our breath. Smell it in our breath if we're eating crappy food. It comes out in stinky breath. 
We breathe out the carbon dioxide, we breathe in oxygen. That's how we exercise, we interact with our environment, the oxygen. We oxygenate. We breathe in the energy that's around us. Oxygen. We oxygenate when we exercise. We need to oxygenate the body. We need to lift up our energy. We have the power to do that. That's a choice. That's a choice. That's a choice. It's taking responsibility. It's setting a goal. It's taking an action. It's taking an action to exercise. Exercise is a part of this. Exercise is a part of this. Breathing is a part of this. Oxygenating our body is part of this. Listen, we're made made or made in the image of the creator we're made in the image of the creator we are like creation we are breathing for the universe we are the lungs we are the breath of the universe. We are the breath, the lungs of God. We need to breathe. We are godly things, loving things, loving beings. We need to breathe. Breath is the omnipresent, the omnipotent, omnipresent force. What do you think that is? What do you think? What's with us all the time. What's all around us? What's within us? It's oxygen. We are the lungs of God. We need to take in the gift, the supporting gift of God, the oxygen that's around us and within us. Omnipotent, omnipresent force, the gift of our universe. It's always there for us. We're always supported. Everything we need is given to us. We're made in the image of the gods. We're little gods. We need to manifest. We need to create what we want in 2019. Exercise is a part of that. Alkalize. Oxygen alkalizes the body. So does our food and our behavior. Getting out in the, in, the, in the earth and touching our feet on the ground, that's a part of grounding. That's a part of releasing negative energy, positive ions going down into the ground. You gotta get those those, those positive ions out of the body. We need to pay, take in the negative ions because we need to create a way for electrical impulse to move throughout the body. There has to be a depolarization. There has to be a positive and a negative charge. There has to be a pH balance. There has to be electric and alkalinity within the body. The body needs to be alkaline and electric. The cytoplasm inside of the cell needs to be alkaline. The nucleus of the cell needs to be electric or a little bit more acidic than the cytoplasm. There has to be a, a way that current can move. There has to be an attractive force. There has to be an electrical conductivity in order for a signal to move from my brain out into my head. It's got to be a depolarization and alkalization has to happen. We've got to eat alkaline foods. If we're eating dead foods, it's Christmas time, I know. We're eating more shortbread. We're eating more rice and potatoes. We're eating more turkey and stuffing. We're eating more desserts, I know, I know. Drinking more alcohol and coffee. Yes, yes, chocolates are abound. Yes, I know, it's around, it's going on, I know. Indulge if you like, as much as you like. Do whatever you like, anyone. But understand that you are the creator of your circumstances. And if you're sitting on the couch and you can't move, so tired, I've been eating so much processed foods, cooked foods, if I've been eating a lot of processed foods and cooked foods and I'm putting dead 
energy into my body, I'm putting positive ions only into my body, then the cytoplasm inside of my cells is not alkaline, it becomes more acidic. Then it's closer in relationship to what's inside the nucleus. There's not a lot of depolarization there, so signals can't move from one side of the cell to the other, and we don't feel like moving. Ah, can't move. I'm so low energy, I don't know why. It's the food and the behavior, it's the coffee and the alcohol that you think is healthy. You're allowed to have coffee, a couple of coffees a day. My doctor said it's good for me. It's okay if I eat, drink wine. I'm allowed to have a glass of wine every single day. It's good for me. Meat's good for you. It's on the paleo diet. It's in the keto diet. It says so. Meat and, meat and fat is healthy. My doctor even said keto diet. Don't listen to what your neighbor said. Don't listen to what everyone's taught you since kindergarten. It's not what you've learned that's right. It's not. You've learned what they wanted you to learn to keep this whole thing going. If you want to stay just like everyone else and keep doing what everyone else is doing and have a divorce and, and uh, you know, lose your job and, and, uh, and uh, estrange your children and uh, uh, don't love yourself, get a disease and get fat and just be just like everybody else. Get old and feel pain and get wrinkly and just do what everybody else says to do. Just follow the Canada Food Guide just keep doing what we're supposed to do. Listen, it's not right, it's not healthy, it's a choice. You gotta take responsibility, you've gotta choose a different outcome. For 2019, you have that power, you have that choice. You can make a different outcome, you can start to choose alkaline foods. The fruits, you can start eating the fruits, you can start eating the, the vegetables, they're alkaline. And better yet, you cannot eat. If you have to eat, fruits are your best choice. But you know what's even better? Don't eat. That will restore the natural balance better than anything else. Fasting. Fasting. We need to stay empty. You know, you want to learn how to control your food want to learn how to control your food. You don't control your food by eating food. You control your food by not eating food. That's how you gain mastery over your food. We're all food addicts. You gotta admit it. I'm a food addict. I'm a recovering food addict. I can't wait to overcome it. We gotta alkalize, we gotta electrify with exercise, we gotta oxygenate, we gotta alkalize, we gotta detoxify, we gotta get the stuff out of us that's not supposed to be in us. There's some stuff that's gotten inside of the skin that's not supposed to be in there. Chemicals got in there, incorrect foods and the fermentation from that. We got waste, we got, to, we got fecal waste that's gotta get out of the body, we gotta detoxify that, we gotta get it out. We gotta get the chemicals out. The chlorine and the fluorine, how did it get in, do you think? The water, the tap water. They told us we need the fluoride for the teeth and we need the chlorine to clean the water. But we don't need either one of those inside the body, so you can't drink the tap water. Don't drink the tap water. Distilled water is what we need. The water has to have a little bit of a current to it because the negative elements are positively charged. The water has a little bit of a current, a negative charge, a distilled charge, not alkaline water. Don't be fooled. Water is not for alkalization. Fruits are. Emptiness is vegetables in small amounts. It's not a vegetable protein diet. It's not what we need. It's a fruit 
and a little bit of vegetable diet and a lot of emptiness is what we need. But we got to detoxify with the water, the distilled water, because we have to get the candida out. We have to get the fermentation out. We have to get the fungus out. We have to get the yeast out. We have to get the parasites out. They've grown in our bodies because we've been eating incorrect foods. We've been eating the meats, which are filled with them because they eat the wrong foods, the pigs and the cows. The beef cattle are fed the wrong foods. They're fed the corns and they're fed the grains and they're fed the wrong foods and they've got wrong digestive energies and they've got fermentation inside of their bodies and they've got candida and yeast in them and we're eating that. We've eaten that, so what's inside of us, we gotta get it out, we gotta detoxify. We gotta get the chemicals out, we gotta get the parasites out, we gotta get the yeast and the fermentation and the fungus out, we gotta get the fecal matter out, we gotta get the antibiotics and the medications that we've taken, we gotta get all the medications out, antibiotics, don't take those. Antibiotics kill the bacteria in our body. Listen, bacteria, is our friend too. There's good bacteria and bad bacteria. A lot of the bacteria that we have in our body, we are in relationship with. We need to be in relationship with a lot of bacteria. It's a part of our immune system. We need it. Okay, we need to have a symbiotic relationship with, with, with bacteria. If we choose to take antibiotics, then we kill all the bacteria and then we kill our immune system. And then we wonder why we're getting sick. Listen, we don't have to get sick. I haven't been sick in two years. We don't have to get sick. Cancer, heart disease, diabetes, all of it can be healed, can be cured, can be a thing of our past. We can get rid of it. We just need to learn some new rules, some new information. 2019 is here. It's upon us. 2018 has passed. Reflect. How was it? How do you want 29 to be? 2019, how do you want it to be? Do you want to create something different or do you want it to be just the same? It's up to you, it's a choice, it's a decision, okay? We are electromagnetic beings, we are beings of God, we are the lungs of godliness. Breathe in the energy, recognize that you have the energy within you. The energy is within us and it's around us. It's in our pelvis. That's where it starts. In the east, they call it the lower chakra. In the west, they call it our gonads. It's our sexual energy. They talk about over here, our passion. They talk about over here in the west, we talk about our purpose. We gotta get on purpose. Do you know where the passion and the purpose is? The passion and the purpose, it starts down here. In the lower dantium, they say, in the east, the lower dantium, the lower chakras. It's our sexual energy, it's our chi, it's the prana within us. It's where the life force energy starts. It's us, it's our fingerprint, it's our footprint, it's our sexual energy, it's our desire, it's our passion, it's our joy, it's our love. It's the child. It's the child within us. It is the energy of us. It is our source energy. It is our root energy. Let me tell you what's happened. It's happened to all of us. It's happened to me. It's happened to all of us. We've all had trauma. We've all been hit with relationship issues, we've gone through divorce, we've lost someone we loved, our parent, our partner, our, our sibling, our, our daughter, our son. We've lost, we've lost jobs, we've lost relationships, we've been hurt. We've lost relationship with self. We've spoken poorly to ourselves. we've hurt ourselves. We've been afraid of making mistakes. We've been afraid of loss. We've been afraid of losing our jobs. We've lost our jobs. 
We've shut down our businesses. We've lost our money. We've gone bankrupt. We've lost. We've lost our health. We've gotten fat. We've lost confidence. We've lost confidence in ourselves. Our partners have put us down. We've taken it. We've believed it. We've taken the negative um, thoughts and words of others, opinions of others. We've taken it in. We're afraid. We've been hurt. We're angry. We're frustrated. We've lost things. We've been estranged. We've huddled ourselves. We've huddled the child. The energy has been huddled. We're afraid to express it because we don't trust ourselves. Because something's going to go wrong. I'm going to lose. I'm going to. I'm going to be hurt. Trauma. We've all been through trauma. We've all been through it. You've all been here. I've been here a lot. I understand it now. I understand the value of it. And now with my intellect, with my voice, with my eye, I can see it. I can see the value of the trauma. And because I can see the value of the trauma, I can transmute it. I can say thank you for it. I can be grateful for it. I can recognize the value of it. I can speak to the child. I can be with the energy. I can have a relationship with it. And I can speak to it like a child because that's what it is. I can speak to it again. And I can say, hey, little one, I can be with my child. I can sit in the living room in quiet with my child. I can be in quiet with myself. I can build a relationship with myself, with the child energy, the loving source energy within me. I can sit with it. I can meditate. I can be with myself. I can be with my energy. I can speak to my energy. I can do it in my mind, I can do it in my voice, I can do it while I'm driving, I can do it while I'm walking, I'm hiking, when I'm walking with my dog, when I'm out with a run, I can do it, the thoughts and the words that I'm thinking, the things I'm saying are what create my reality, that's what created it in 2018, consciously or unconsciously, that's what's going to create it in 2019, consciously or unconsciously, do you want 2019 to be different for you, or do you want it to be the same? The energy is right here. It's your love, it's your passion, it's your sexual energy. You can keep squirting it out if you want, guys. You can keep orgasming it out. You can have the quick joy or you can lift it up. You can hold it in, you can bring it up into your life and you can express it out in other ways. You can have a relationship with it. You can speak with it, you can nurture it, you can walk through the pains and the fears that it's been through. You can look at it again and consciously you can realize and see the value of what that trauma has done. You can rise it up, you can bring it up and you can express it with your voice. You can express it in your relationships, in your career and it can make you more money or it can make you have energy to exercise and eat right. It can make you lose weight. It can make you heal your disease. You can change your circumstance. Energy is abound. It's in the sunlight. It's in the ground. I sleep with a grounding cable. I have a grounding, my, my squat rack is grounded. So when I'm in here, when I'm in my gym, when I'm with customers that have negative energy around me sometimes, or I've got Wi-Fi cables, I've got my cellular phone, negative energy around me, I can ground out. I can grab my squat rack. I can touch it and I can ground out during my day. I can put my grounding cable on when I'm sleeping. I can ground all night long. I can ground when I'm at the computer. I can put it on my finger. I can ground while I'm in front of the electromagnetic current that's disturbing my energy. I can lift up my energy. I can generate my energy. I can generate my energy. I can put it out into goals. I can create something different. I can put something in, na 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 na, that's different, or I can stay empty and let my body heal. Okay, it's a choice. 2019 is gonna be a choice.
Okay, you gotta make yourself accountable. Until you make yourself accountable, until you write it down, until you share it with someone, it's just a dream. It's just a dream. Until you share it, then it becomes a goal. Then you can make some action steps. 2019 is upon us. Reflect on 2018. Decide how you did. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a hug. And then take action. We can make 2019 a huge success. Listen, I learned some real valuable lessons in 2019. I learned some real valuable lessons. And I learned them for free. It was emotionally hard. It was painful. It was also thrilling and joyful and I'm grateful for all of it. I learned some valuable gifts. I learned them for free and because of that I'm gonna give something away for free because I got something in 2019 for free. So I'm gonna give something in 2019 for free. I got it in 2018 for free. I'm gonna give it in 2019 for free. It's coming up. It's coming up in January. It's gonna be a free opportunity for you to change your life. It's just before Christmas right now, the Mellow Man here, wishing you a happy Christmas, a wonderful happy Christmas with your family and your friends. I want you to know that you are the creator, the conscious creator or the unconscious creator, your choice. It's your choice, it's your decision. You can make 2019 something different. I got something coming for you in 2019. It's coming, watch for it. I'll release it next week or just the first week of the year, just before the new year, I'll be dropping it. It's something coming, it's for free, it's for everyone. Tell all your friends to come and check John DePass, come and check the Melon Man because he's got something coming for everyone. It's coming for everyone. It's for 2019 and it's for free. Get ready for the, the very best year of your entire life. Mellow Man, signing off. Have a wonderful day. Have a very Merry Christmas.